Do you know what to do before the server ends in Call of Dragons on every season? Well, in today's video, we're going to tackle this topic. My name is Shinchi42. If you are loving Call of Dragons and playing it and having a lot of fun, consider subscribing to the channel and press like onto the video as well. So today, we're going to talk about what are the things that you got to do when the server is about to end because there's a few practices in here, best practices, I should say, to do. So, um, number one that I want to give you an advice is that you should continue farming. Farm, farm, farm before the server ends because you are going to have the high nodes in here in the very last stages of the game. When you go into the new server, you're going to start into the starting zone. You're going to be with the lower nodes again. So, what I would recommend is that before the season ends, after you capture that flame dragon, is that you focus on farming farm 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 get all those resources so when you go to the next season you're either upgrading or you have a lot of um resources what i would also recommend in here is the runes so if you take a look into the runes in here they're high level at the end of the season especially if you are you know into the last zone if you're successful into the push of your team to defeat other opponents in the game. So get the runes. If you have like, you know, research rune or building rune, it's a great time for you to obtain these 15% rune and start making upgrades because you're going to save a lot of speed ups when you have these runes, especially when you're trying to make a push for events. So that is two best practices that I'm giving you right now. And we have a lot more. Smack that like if you find this helpful to guide you to succeed in Call of Dragons. Now, the hero XP will reset in Call of Dragons when you go into the next season. So the XP will reset, but the stars will not and the skills will remain, okay? My tip in here with your high level commanders, keep fighting the creatures. The Darklings and the Dark Creatures drain your CP as much as you can every single day. When there is the strongest Lord, consume all your CP so that you're getting a lot of benefit from this. With the higher level creatures or Darkling patrols, you are going to be able to get a lot more rewards from defeating them. So you can see you can get better rewards than defeating the level, uh, the lower levels in here. So drain your cp you also don't want to have like um uh, a lot of stock you also don't want to have any stock of you know stored cp as well when your server ends because the cp will be scrapped after the season ends so you gotta make sure that you are going to consume all of it convert all this cp into speed ups by defeating the dark links and dark creatures and you're going to use these speed ups for upgrading your you know, account, making more troops. Those are some of the things that you need to do, all right? This is pretty simple. Just consume your CP before the end of the season. Now, when we talk about buying bundles, I do recommend that players buy the monthly pack. But when the season is near the end, I would really recommend that you stop buying the monthly pack, save your money, buy the monthly pack again when the season starts. Because I don't, for me... I should say, I don't want to accumulate the CP anymore. So I buy the pack mainly for the CP. Now, the CP will be scrapped. So I suggest don't buy any of these. So I'm, as you can see right now, once this thing is done for two days, I'm not going to renew. I'm just going to wait till the next season. I don't really need to stack up on CP anymore. Well, if you are a whale and you really want to, you know, accumulate all the 60 minute speed ups as well, that is totally fine. You can buy it, but I would really recommend for certain players, it's not worth buying in the season ending period. Now, the artifacts within the game will also reset the level. I just want to give this information. The artifacts in here, the levels will reset, but the upgrades will not reset. All right. Your stars will not reset. Your skills will not reset. Just keep that in mind. Only the level and the dust will reset. So that is very important to understand within the game. The dust, 
the XP books, they are all going to be scrapped. They do indicate here what's going to be scrapped. So just kind of pay attention onto that one. As you can see, the Arcane Death will be scrapped after the season ends. Another thing that is going to be scrapped is the Prestige. So you can either keep on progressing into your Dragon Trails if you can. Keep on buying the Indus token in the Metal Store. Uh, that's something that I would recommend. I don't really have any best practice for the Dragon Troll because it's something that you can't really handle a control in here. So just do your best in the Dragon Trails. Just remember that the Prestige will reset. Just keep that in mind. Uh, there's no way to convert all the extra Prestige yet at this moment. Maybe in the future there will. Now the Merits will also reset within the game. So what I would say, if you can do some combat within the game, um, do combat still and earn the merits and once you earn merits in here buy the um you know speed ups in here that those are some of the things that i would recommend to buy in the merit shop buying the speed ups um the elixir if there's no more war i would recommend that you don't have to buy any of the elixir anymore if there's no more war within the game if it's completely peaceful just focus on um getting the what is it called? The speed ups in here. Uh, if you're wondering, like, oh, it's peaceful, how can I earn merits? You can either do duels, you can either build a farm account to feed yourself merits as well. So, those are some of the things that you can do during peace period. But of course, when there is a war, you're going to accumulate a lot of merits. Then I would say you can buy both of the things in here. But just remember that the um, elixir here will not transfer into the next season. So if you have stored elixir, I would really recommend that you use it maybe during the strongest lord kill event. It's the best time to use your elixirs. Just remember it it will be scrapped at the end of the season. Now, before the season ends in here, um, I would recommend that you guys do your scout progress as well. Do as much as you can. Um, I think I read somewhere in the update or in the Q&A uh, it said something about like whenever you do get into the next season, you can pretty much do the um, task in here from the um, scout. So if that is true, then you can you know accumulate more rewards by exploring with this scout in here with the villages and stuff. I'm not saying that you're going to scout fogs because fogs are going to be gone. But some of the villages, some of the caves, some of the other tasks in here, some of the supply... Uh, try to get this done. I'm going to try to do mine as much as I can. But this is something that I would recommend for you guys to do. Um, but really, at the end of the day, the best practices in here is just, you know, consume your CP daily. Defeat the heavy patrols in here. Do your fortress in here. As you can see, there is level 6 Darkling Fortress. So do the fortress. You are going to get those treaties in here, which is going to help you with a, this is going to also give you like a high level, high amount of resources from the uh, higher level Darkling Forts in here. Some of the, these, some of these things are quite useful within the game just by grinding throughout the game. A few more things that I would recommend is that finish up your quest in here, your season rewards in here. I've already finished mine. Do your dark chest, open them up. As you're stronger, you're going to be able to defeat you know, higher leveled um, you know, darkling guards in here. And you're going to be able to go for those. Um, don't go for the common ones. Um, I would say go for the elite ones in here. This is common still. Um, yeah, these guys, superior actually. Go for the superior in here. Accumulate as much as you can. Also pay attention to the timer. You don't want to be consumed. You don't want to be um, completing a dark chest superior like this with the timer almost done. Do your due task in here with the darkling guards. Um, you're going to get more from here. Not just from the arcane dust, right? You're going to get, you know, potential better, you know, artifacts in here from opening these up. And you want to consume those keys that you got. You don't want it to just be laying around. Um, I would really recommend for players to have a farm account so that you guys can supply your um, account with resources. Those are some of the really good things to help you out in here within the game. I'm trying to think what else you should be doing um, before the season ends. Uh, I can't really think of anything else in here. I think I've talked about everything now. So if you guys have anything to recommend or suggest to us, so maybe you're doing some things in here that I didn't talk about and you watch it until the end. I want to say appreciate it for you watching until the end. Please let us know what other things in here that we're missing so that we can give advice to other players as well. Besides that, I want to say thank you for watching. I will see you guys again next time.